here in this spot at this point of the game? Is there another coach maybe weighing in with what to do here? Well, I think that analytics are starting to say, with it being from the two, that you're going for two more often. That makes sense. But there, I still like going for one, don't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, that's my first instinct. But I'm understanding how the game is starting to change. We're getting a number of these quarterbacks who are telling their coaches, we should go for two all the time. I want to see if we ever get a team that actually starts to do that. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Quickly into the hands of Beckham. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They'll run here with Bo. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. The result only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. We're back now in KC. Second down and six now. And we've got a dandy here. A one point game as we begin the fourth. They'll run with a big man, Bo Jackson. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's run by sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. It'll be a three-yard pickup, but it brings up second and goal. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Well, the ball mere inches from the right line on third and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out. But does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I... And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Oh, now Beckham. There to make the grab. And the Commanders will add to their fourth quarter lead. So these two teams matching each other score for score. This last touchdown, that bumps the lead back to seven with the extra point to come. And it's a heck of a way to play, isn't it, partner? You feel good about it because you continue to keep the lead and your offense keeps scoring, but you sure would like your defense to make a stop. An extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. 